hi and welcome back again to biology circuit in this video i will discuss about the basic difference of end point pcr and real time pcr for quick understanding so first comes the end point pcr so what happens in case of end point pcr first you perform the pcr experiment and then comes the analysis part so once the pcr experiment finished then we can analyze the result but in case of real time pcr while the pcr reactions is ongoing we can see the results in real time so we can analyze the results in real time so this is the difference between end point and real time pcr so in case of end point pcr first comes the experimental part we add all the pcr components in the pcr tube and then we put this pcr tube in the pcr machine or thermal cycler and we set the particular pcr program according to our protocols and after the completion of this pcr program now we can analyze the results by gel electrophoresis method so in gel electrophoresis we can compare our pcr product band length with the already known dna ladder okay so in case of real time pcr what happens we we can see the results or the amplifications with the increasing pcr cycles so after 10 cycles 20 cycles 30 cycles what is the amplifications of our particular gene of interest we can see in the real time so this real time pcr could be qualitative or quantitative but the end point pcr generally used for the qualitative qualitative analysis so this is the basic basic understanding of the difference between why it's called end point pcr and why it is called real time pcrs okay so hope it will be helpful and thanks for watching